thing that uh, Donald Trump is very good at, it's taking credit for what others have done in the economy. He inherited the Obama-Biden expansion, slowed it down, but, but uh, the economy continued expanding until uh, his disastrous handling of the pandemic ran it into the ditch that it's now in, where we still have something on the order of 20 million Americans out of work. Trump campaign firing back at that comment today. Here's Tim Murtaugh. They have no idea what they're talking about when they talk about the Biden economy. The Biden economy was stagnant. Wage growth was stagnant. When President Trump, Trump took over, the economy skyrocketed. Wage growth for the bottom half of wage earners rose faster than those at the top of the scale. And the president, we just saw it the other day, record GDP growth, the biggest record uh, growth in one quarter in American history. Biden 2020 campaign surrogate Pete Buttigieg back with us tonight. Good to have you here, sir. Um, you heard nice to be with you. Tim Murtaugh uh, take issue with your characterization of the Biden-Obama uh, economy. What, <laughs> how do you answer what he said there? I guess he thinks we're all stupid. Uh, look, we can look this up. I mean, these are matters of simple fact. GDP growth under Obama faster than under Trump. Look at the first three years. And if he's trying to sell us on third quarter GDP growth this year, if he's trying to use the 2020 economy as an example of an economic triumph, he's living on a different planet than the rest of us. Uh, the only reason those numbers are what they are is because it's a partial comeback from the bloodbath that was the second quarter. We're still down, as I think anybody knows. Well, I think anybody would understand that obviously when you shut down an entire economy the way that we had to, um, it's going to take a while to come back. Exactly. That's the amazing thing, right? We were right. down So the amazing thing, you know, some would say is that it's come back so two thirds um, from how far it was down. So that that's a, yeah. I mean, no, by any estimation, you know, from what happened, that's a strong number to be up 33 percent off the bottom. Everyone understands that it's not back where it was, but we all understand the world we live in, too. So we, we get right. we understand what's, there's we, an economic what's going disaster on. touched off by the by mismanagement the of the pandemic. Well, but again, you, you even pre-pandemic, you characterize that however you want. A anybody who was fact. president was going to have to go through that economic dive and come back well, except out of in it. other countries, it didn't happen quite like that, did it? Well, we have the most diverse country in the entire world. We have a set of complex problems in our, you know, with our population. So it's we a completely different environment. Absolutely not. So we Absolutely should settle not. for worse numbers. Uh, well, I, you know, I, all I'm saying is that there's only one way to know how anyone would have handled it, and two, we don't have two presidents at once. You, you know, everyone's going to obviously vote. Yeah, uh, and, and that's why I prefer to, uh, to let me just read some to you, three Pete. years, right? Because that's a little more apples yeah, to apples. Yeah, no, and, and that. Well, the first this is what the hold on a second, Pete. So this is what the Post Gazette yeah. editorial board said, and they just um, endorsed President Trump first time they've done anything in along those lines for a Republican since 1972. They said under the under Donald Trump, the economy pre-COVID boomed like no time since the 1950s. Look at your 401k over the past three years. Unemployment for Black Americans is lower than it has ever been under any president of either party, and the Appalachian and hourly worker has some hope. Now, you know, it's, it's not a ringing endorsement across the board, but on the economy, um, they felt very strongly about that. So, you know, that, that, that's another account um, that would say that economically, and even in the polls, uh, that's an area where the president seems to be doing better, even though Joe Biden's doing much better on COVID. So um, do yourself a favor if you're sitting at home. Uh, Google stock market uh, Obama versus Trump, stock market growth Obama versus Trump, let's say. Uh, click on the first two or three articles, look at the charts, and you'll see that it was slower under Trump. Now, look, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not saying that, uh, uh, you know, the, the, uh, there's nothing for them to talk about. The American people have obviously done some amazing things in order to try to come back from this pandemic for the president, though, to try to take credit for it given that they underperformed the Obama-Biden economy, whether you're looking at GDP growth or stock market growth. Here's another fun one. Remember when Donald Trump promised that his economic policy would get us four or five, six percent growth? None of that happened pre-pandemic. It was pre-COVID. Pre we, we, know we, we had a little bit against. of a surprise that uh, we've all been living through for the past year, so it's pretty tough to be apples and apples on that comparison. But um, as well, always, again, thank you very much. the first three years. But, Good to yeah. have you here. Thank you very much. Thanks.